Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi Rachel Zarin here with a thought for Shabbat. It's that time of year again. We are approaching New Year's and with it we are surrounded by talk of New Year's resolutions. When I was in kindergarten, I had a teacher impress upon me the importance of making and following through on New Year's resolutions. I took this very seriously. And so every year I made sure to make a resolution that I could follow through on right away. When I was little, I hated peas. And my family had a tradition of ordering Chinese food for New Year's Eve. So every year I resolved that I would try a food I thought I didn't like and see if my tastes had changed for the better. That way, when the clock struck midnight, I could try a pea from the fried rice of course, see that I still did not like peas, but I could check off my resolution from my list knowing that I had followed through on it right away. It's easy to look back on this story of my five-year-old self and laugh, but I think at the heart of this story lies a question that many of us wrestle with. Do we really believe we are capable of change? Now, maybe I was just being a five-year-old, but maybe I sensed somewhere deep inside that I was worried I couldn't really change. And so if I wanted to follow through on my teacher's advice and follow through on a New Year's resolution, I had to resolve to do something that was easy and quick, but didn't really involve much change. I think many of us struggle with the tension between resolving to be who we really want to be and believing that we can become those people. Well, if this week's Torah portion by Yigash teaches us anything, it is that people are capable of real change. In this week's Torah portion, we find the climax of the story of Joseph and his brothers. His brothers who once threw Joseph into a pit now come to Joseph, not knowing it is him, asking him for food since Joseph is second in command in Egypt and responsible for distribution of food during the famine. Our parasha opens with Joseph's brother Judah giving an impassioned speech in which it becomes clear that Judah, who does not know he is speaking to Joseph, it becomes clear that Judah has truly changed. He takes responsibility for the actions he committed against Joseph years ago. He shows sensitivity to his father and his father's feelings and needs. And he takes care of his other brothers, steps up in ways that he hadn't years ago. Through the course of things, Joseph reveals himself, his real identity to his brothers, and in doing so, we see that Joseph too has changed. Once a teenager who bragged about eventually lording his status over his brothers, Joseph now, second in command only to Pharaoh, does not brag, but simply shows care and concern for his father, shows a desire to make sure that his brothers, his family is taken care of during the famine, wants to reunite with them, to bring them to be with him in Egypt so that he can provide for them. Joseph and his brothers have changed and transformed in ways that we could not have imagined at the beginning of the story. And if this teaches us anything, it teaches us that we too are capable of real change. So as we approach New Year's Eve and Shabbat Vayigash, may we believe that. May we believe that we are truly capable of change and transformation in ways that we may not have ever imagined. And if you are the type who makes New Year's resolutions, May you resolve to be the person that you want to be and not be held back by thinking that you're not capable of becoming that person. Because Joseph and his brothers teach us that we are truly able to change for the better. Shabbat Shalom.